What's up, guys? Um, so I got a question from there we go from one of my relatives re related to uh, fitness and diet. She was basically asking like um, how like what would be and she's she's really healthy already. Like she looks great, um, but she was just curious as to like how you could lose weight really really quick. Like what would be like a cool sort of advice uh, related to that. Um, in terms of diet, like what what diet is the best to lose weight really really quick, and honestly, like my answer, I didn't answer the question so directly because I think in the past I would have been like, oh okay, well I mean, what are you in? What kind of diets are you into? Like, do you like eating meat? Are you more vegetarian? Because you can go paleo. I know a lot of people have been successful at that. You can do the Atkins. Um, where you cut out the carbs, or if you're like a if you're a vegetarian or like a vegan, you can go vegan, so you cut out the meats and the saturated fats. Um, you can go raw vegan if you really want to, you know, cut weight. You can do juice fast. There's all these different things you can do. You can go low carb vegan, but I don't suggest these things anymore because first of all, I don't know how fun they are for people. Um, I don't want anyone like to ever be like really strained by something like that. And number two, they're not really meant to be long term. I mean, most times people try it for a little bit just to lose the weight, and then they go back to their normal, you know, eating or whatever, which is okay. But a lot of times, you you can see there. A lot of times, there's yo-yo, you know, um, weight happening where they they do the diet and then they yo-yo back to their normal weight. And, or maybe not their normal weight, but what they were initially at. So what ends up happening is, you know, you go through this, maybe what was a strainful process for you, wasn't necessarily enjoyable, you lost the weight, and then, you know, everything went back to what it was before, and maybe you put the weight back on, or maybe you pick up old habits again, like unhealthy habits, or, you know. So it's just this temporary diet thing going, and I'm not like a big fan of that at all because I feel like health should be and fitness should be a long-term progression. It should be a lifestyle. So as opposed to like, hey, let's do a diet. It's like, okay, if my goal is to lose weight. Um, why don't I start adding things in, in either my diet or in my life that would help me do that? So like being more aware of your fitness. So how many days a week are you working out? If you do, you know, are, are you doing just cardio or are you doing strength training too? Because strength training is really important um, to help put on muscle to, you know, create that muscle to body weight ratio. If you're just doing cardio, you might not necessarily be burning the fat that you've been wanting to burn um, or losing that weight. You need a combination. So you know, why don't you do cardio at the beginning of your workout or go run a mile on the treadmill and then hit the weights. You can do this, you know, at least two days a week. If you really want to kick up the intensity, then here's an easy way to go about it. Like work out um, at least, don't go two days without having something in your life that's fitness related. You know, whether that's walking, whether that's hiking, um, you know, playing basketball. Um, doing some sort of strength training or resistance training, doing biking. Um, but there are these little things that are important related to long-term progression. And, you know, like I, I had a suggestion in my last video about, or a couple of videos ago, about if you want to improve your diet, don't worry about taking things that you really enjoy that are not necessarily healthy out of your diet. You know, if you like ice cream, you don't have to necessarily take out ice cream, but start adding, you know, asparagus or start adding healthy foods to your diet. And in time, as you continue to do this, you will see like a natural progression towards health. As you continue to get healthier, I found, at least with me, like I've wanted to be closer to, you know, uh, my body. I, I notice what nutrition actually wants as I get more in touch with my body, as I start having healthier, more food, um, as I start having more healthy food, excuse me, um, as I start working out more, then I sort of understand, okay, like, this strength training does help me in this respect, you know, this cardio helps me in this respect, so you just start getting in touch with, your, with yourself and just being 
consistent, not necessarily being a perfectionist. You don't have to be a perfectionist. Just be consistent. Um, this helps you, you know, slowly get to a place where your whole lifestyle is changed in a way that this process is enjoyable and it's long term. So you will continue to grow as opposed to maybe straining yourself for a short period of time getting maybe quick results that are not necessarily long lasting that's kind of defeating that's defeating in a lot of ways you know what I mean so anyway I just wanted to throw this in you know I just wanted to talk about this because I think it's pretty cool um, I hope in this video maybe I covered some some tips as well um, for how you can do how you can start thinking long term in terms of you know uh, fitness and health and diet and stuff but anyway cool beans guys peace have a good one